All right, now we're doing 7Q testing 1, 2, 3. This is by ACR and 93% of the people like it. Our team is writing a fancy new text editor and we've been tasked with implementing the line numbering. We're going to write a function which takes, takes a list of strings and returns each line prepended by the correct number. The numbering starts at 1, Format the format is in with uh, a colon and then something and then the space and then the string. Okay, and then uh, notice the colon and the space in between. All right, and so here's what it wants to look like. Uh, we're going to get A, B, C, and then put one, two, three in front of it. All right, so right here, let's start by saying uh, let result equal uh, empty brackets right there, empty array. And so we're going to say, uh, to start off with, if uh, let's see, if array dot length equals zero, we're going to say uh, return an empty array. Let me put this here. Over. And then if we're going to say else, uh, now for, we're going to say let index equals zero, and when index is less than array dot length, we're going to say index plus plus, so we can iterate through the uh, index numbers, all right? And then after this, we're going to say, uh, oh yeah, we need to get push up here. Push JavaScript right here. All right, uh, we're going to use the push method, which adds one or more elements to the end of an array and returns the new length of the array. So here's an array, uh, you push cows, and it's going to come out uh, pigs, goats, sheep, and then cows, all right? So we've got this here. Uh, so we're going to say what are we going to say? Result dot push, and then on that we're going to push. Uh, what are we going to push? We're going to push the index plus one, so that it'll say like at at index zero it'll say one, and then plus. We're going to add uh, the a string that has the colon and the space in it, and then we're going to add array uh, at index. Okay, the uh, element at index in array. There we go. And uh, we're going to do that, and then down here we're going to say return result. Let's see what happens. All right, good. But you know what? That's a lot of typing. That's the way I think about it. So I'm going to make it a little more concise. I'm going to make it a little more like what I'd like to see it look like. So first we're going to make this an arrow function, const over here. And uh, what we're going to do here is get rid of all of this. All right. And we're going to instead we're going to use this map this array dot prototype dot map right there uh, which creates a new array populated with the results of calling a provided function on every element in the calling array as far as the syntax we're going to use we're going to use this uh, map we're going to have the element here and then comma index here and then we're going to put what we want to do with this little map uh, method in there all right so let's knock that out so we're going to say array dot map all right and we're going to have element and index right there and then we're going to say um, index plus one plus the same thing we had before, the colon, space, 
plus. No, we actually, you know what? Instead of that, we're going to use template literals. <laughs> Might as well. Uh, the template literals are literals delimited with backtick characters, allowing for multi-line strings, for string interpolation with embedded expressions, and for special constructs called tag templates. So basically, we're going to have some string text. These uh, expressions right here, these are the embedded expressions, uh, and then some string text right here. So let me show you what we're going to do with that. Sorry for wasting your time on that part. So we're going to do the backtick character right here. And that's uh, to the left of the one and right above the tab key. And then we're going to have two embedded expressions. So one here. And then we're going to have the colon after that one. And then a space. And then another embedded expression here. All right. So in the first embedded expression, we're going to say index plus one. And in the second one, we're going to have element. All right. Let's test it out. There we go. Attempt it looks good submit it all right very like this one my solutions just a few of us best practice in my opinion and we'll see you next time